Hey guys, I wanna do a video covering my favorite ways to defend the knee cut pass. There's different knee cut pass variations, so I'm gonna do an order of it of how far along your opponent is on doing the pass. Before I get into the video, if you guys have any requests, please comment and let me know. It gives me good ideas for future content. So the first tier I focus on is keeping my knee above my arm. This makes it hard for the guy to get in deep on the knee cut. What I'm gonna look for is my outside leg to make connection on either his shoulder or his hip to push and create space to get my bottom leg back out. Once my bottom leg is back out, he can no longer do the knee cut and I'm free to set up spider guard, collar sleeve, De La Hiva to try to go to close guard, but you can't really do anything when this is trapped. So my left leg here, I either throw it over on the shoulder. One key detail is to make sure I push on his arm and I throw my foot over my own arm. If I try to grab the sleeve first, his shoulder can come close and it's hard to lasso. But if I frame, it's easy to get here. If you're a little bit less flexible then going on the hip here, either sideways or uh, with your heel like this is another way to push to create space to get the leg back. Out. This is my first tier defense that I prefer. So another common knee cut defense is when the guy comes in and he holds this lapel and this pant leg, this can be difficult because now the one I did before where I lasso or I put my foot on the hip can be very difficult. So in this case, what I want to focus on is if you can always try to keep this protected, but let's say I lost it, is I'm going to frame and I'm going to focus by using this shield and try to snake this bottom leg out. Once I get this bottom leg out, I immediately want to try to either grab behind the tricep or at least the sleeve because if I don't grab this, his hand will come back to try to retuck this like there, right? So when I grab this, he can no longer retuck it, right? So from this point, I can push on the shoulder, I center up, and often I can end up in a De La Hiva position or switch here and start going up to open guard. So another common defense here is he comes in and now I'm gonna get this reverse De La Hiva hook with my right foot and I'm gonna hold his sleeve with my right hand. Most of the time when he traps this leg, he has to be holding this so you can almost always get a hold of the sleeve. So I'm gonna have a cross collar grip and the sleeve and I'm kind of shielding. This will often make the guy drive his weight back into me. So as he drives into me, I'm gonna pull him overhead and I'm gonna bridge overhead here. So drive back in here and bridge up overhead. Andre Gaval used to use this sweep all the time. In general, even if I can't get the, the overhead sweep, the off balance will give you space to get the bottom leg out, right? So he's here, he drives back in a little bit, I off balance, he steps way back to get his balance back, and that allows me to bring this leg back out and defend from here. And another big defense is just the classic reverse De La Hiva. So whenever he steps in with the leg, if I can catch this reverse De La Hiva hook early, as he comes in, I'm gonna switch my left hand to the collar, my right hand grabs on the ankle or the heel, depending on where his pressure is. And then now I'm just gonna pull, lift, invert through, and go for the back. If you guys haven't seen it, I did a video with Espen Matisson recently covering the reverse De La Hiva system. So you can go more in depth on that video. So another good one, if the guy gets even further through and I feel like it's really hard to get this leg back out, is I'm gonna get a cross collar grip with this left arm and try to frame my palm or fist into his neck. I'm gonna try to come up on my elbow and start backing out here, stay tight. So he stays here like this. Often if you get up on this elbow and you can create that space with this fist, it's easy to back out to get this. Okay, all of these different sequences have their place and they're really good. I'm always looking for that lasso first, but sometimes they get in deep and I try to get that bottom leg out. If I can't get that bottom leg out, then I'm looking to stiff arm and scoot out. And the last one is when he's really, really deep, he's already got this sleeve. I can't clear my leg out. I can't technical stand up because he's got this sleeve. This is one Hodger Gracie uses a lot, I really like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a cross sleeve grip on the sleeve he has, and I'm gonna trap this leg here. So it's like I'm barely hanging on. I'm gonna get this cross sleeve. From here, it's very easy to break this grip. Once I break this, I wanna keep a lock on that bottom foot, and now I'm gonna go out this way to go for a technical standup. I wanna keep this foot lock, because as I stand up, he's gonna to wanna to take my back, so start going for my back. It's very hard, as long as I have this in the foot trap, I can stand up and start backing out from here. Hadro Gracie used this one uh, in his match versus Buchecha. Oh, check Matt Black Belt. Yeah, Abu is looking to step off the backside. Possibly try like a reverse half guard, there it is. Now either he's gonna go for the legs or sit. And comes back to the front. Back up. Of course, I prefer not to have to use this. I wanna block him early in the tiers of defense, but sometimes someone's got a really good knee pass and they get in deep. This is a great fail safe to give you one final option to try. Again, guys, if you have any requests or questions, please comment and let me know. It gives me great ideas for future content.